For your Powering the Permian report tonight, we're looking at the Permian Basin International Oil Show running right now over at the Actor County Coliseum through tomorrow. Hundreds of companies with bases right here in the Permian Basin showed up to show off new technology and tools that are revolutionizing the oil and gas industry. Uh, we're so excited about this show, this year's show. Uh, we've got over 750 exhibitors all over the country from all over the world. Uh, we've got over 25,000 attendees. Uh, you know, yesterday and today has just been packed. And, and, you know, for the last five to seven years, the Permian has become the center of innovation for our entire industry. You know, 99% of the major innovations in our industry have happened within 150 miles of Hector County Coliseum in the last five to seven years. And we've got just a tremendous showcase of all that technology and innovation here at this year's show. We, we've done this trade show before, maybe 10 years ago or so, but we've t had a lot more traction in the industry since then. So when we made the decision to come down here, it was uh, quite the process to get everything down. Just we've kind of visited uh, multiple times in the past and decided to jump on top of it and get a booth this year. And first time having a booth and it's it's paid off. We are uh, making now some of our level devices that are in 16 foot vessels, 32 foot vessels, where a lot of times on the level controls you would have a rigid hard probe and they'd have to use a cherry picker or a crane to pull it up and insert it into a tank. Now we've come out with this and we call them our flexible levels. We're so thankful, you know, to the, the city of Odessa and Hector County and all the support we get from, from the, the local uh, companies, the, the oil and gas companies and the service companies that allow their people to come here, uh, but, but also all these manufacturers and, and technology companies that spend, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to ship their equipment from all over the United States to, to be here in Odessa so attendees can actually put their hands on it and ask questions about it and, and look at it interfacing in a real environment. Uh, we're just, we're proud to be a part of it and, and uh, proud of its impact that it has on the community. And the Texas Railroad Commission is receiving national recognition for its award-winning well-plugging program. They received the Chair's Environmental Partnership Award from the Interstate Oil and Gas Compact Commission. This was for its work in completing a complex operation at the Big Thicket National Preserve earlier this year. The Commission's plugging program aims to protect the environment and communities around the state. On the commission work, executive director of the RRC, Wee Wang, said, quote, We were pleased to lend our expertise and successfully remove the hazards at Big Thicket, which keeps the area safe for visitors to continue to enjoy for years to come, end quote. Meanwhile, oil prices are up today, now sitting at nearly $88 a barrel. According to Bloomberg, that's up more than 25 bucks from when markets opened. A buck 25, rather, excuse me. Right now, there are 311 rigs up and running in the Permian Basin. That's up overall for the year, but down 19% from last year. Meanwhile, drivers have been seeing a little bit of a drop in gas prices over the past few weeks as more producers are shifting over to their winter blends, which is typically sold cheaper because of a larger amount of butane in the mix. Taking a look at those local prices, drivers in Hector County are paying an average of $3.18 a gallon, while those in Midland are paying a little more at $3.25. Drivers in Howard County are paying some of the lowest prices in the state at $3.06.